lot of the stuff that we do that Dan does and our other community resource officers do is kind of outside our traditional role or it, it's outside of the roles that, that we're supposed to be doing. Um, the way we look at a lot of these social issues now is that that is actually our role. That the community expects that if we have these social disorder issues, even though they're not crimes, right, if, if you find a needle um, in front of your place, that even though it's not necessarily a crime at that point, it's very disruptive, right? If you find someone yelling and screaming, I mean, that may or may not be a crime. It's possibly it's not a crime. need to be assessing it because nobody asked for your help. That's what happens when you don't house people who are PTSD compound for being institutionalized. So you can leave now. Depression don't have any idea what you're doing to people. You can leave now. You know what? When you die and you have to be the effects of your fucking actions, then you'll know and it'll be too late. I hope you can live with that. I wouldn't be able to. I'm fine. She's fine. Go away, please. <clears throat> No. Man, you're not listening. She already said, go away, please. You guys are so rude, man. I'm a little bit stressed out. Sorry, I can't talk right now. That's okay. Hey, I understand you're stressed out. You know, the, the tent city resident has to put out the boundary. How many times here, folks? This is what they deal with every day, and I'm filming, and they still do it. I'm not talking to you. They're gone. It doesn't matter. It's over. I'm not talking. And I don't need you to talk to me. Just hear me out for a second. Oh, God. Shame. It's none of your business. No, no. I know. I don't. I, I was going to say the same words. I don't need to know. All oh, I'm worried about is just to make sure that, that people aren't hurt. That's, That's right. taxpayers' money right here. Taxpayers' money. Social stigma. Social stigma right here. Social stigma. Don't tell me to shut up. Don't tell me to shut. She's asking you guys to leave. Leave, please. Unbelievable. You're pissing me off even worse. Can you please leave now, sir? Can you please leave? This no. is going right to the police chief tonight. Can you guys please leave? You guys are going right on YouTube and you don't even care. Listen to that. She's not a fucking child. I think she understands. Leave. I'm not going to! And you seem super upset right now, and I just There's don't no want to that's why we asked you to go. Now it's not the time. She doesn't want to hear it. We're not, we don't, we're not going to be able to help in these guys. You shouldn't be involved in mental health. It's fine, man. I'm telling you, I'm just going to stop right now. Well, can you tell your guys to back off? Like, this is unreal. I'm putting this to YouTube and the police chief. He's going to get this. These people are saying, back off, we don't need your help. And the Unreal. People were turned down to grant for fucking mental health, and this guy seems like he's all for that mental health thing, so maybe he should fight for that instead of trying to fight with us. Okay, so I'm not trying to fight. Yeah, I'm going to leave right now. I think this is one of those moments where you just stop talking to the police. Okay, okay. great. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. No need to apologize, sister. Sorry you had to go through that. So this is an example. Can you imagine if this happened in Uplands or Oak Bay? Nobody was hurt. Nobody called for help. Two people were verbally arguing. Who are post-traumatic stress disorder? And now they're going to just stand here. Just before our rally.